I'll tell you where you get fat positive care at the cemetery. Yeah, just talk to a mortician. They'll take they'll take great fat positive care of you. Fat positive fertility. That's an ironic. That's an oxymoron, is it not? <laughs> That's an oxymoron. Uh, did you know you don't have to be weighed? Okay. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black. Did you know you don't have to be weighed? I guess if you don't weigh yourself, I, okay. Are we talking about being at the doctor's office? If you're fat, you're going to have complications with your pregnancy. That's high risk. So that's science, not your feelings. Uh, the caption says, did you know that you don't have to be weighed at any healthcare appointment? Oh, I get it. Matt Damon. One of those fuck nuggets. You may have seen this one floating around on Instagram before, but it's easier said than done, right? I mean, I guess it is a challenge to be a complete fucking tard. If you go to the doctor's office and you're trying to get pregnant or you're going to your like OBGYN and you're like saying, I don't want to get weighed. If I were the doctor, they're probably going to throw you out because that's dangerous. That's a risk to them to not actually figure out what the fuck is going on with you. Oh, fat positive. Fat positive fertility is literally an oxymoron. Hold the oxy. She continues or it continues or Zons continues or purrs or zeer, whatever the fuck you want. <sighs> okay. All right. Take a deep breath. He's heating up. Hold on, I need to, hold on, hold on. I need to pause for a second. I need a little America. I need to charge up. America, fuck yeah! <laughs> What's your name, fat body? <sighs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. Ready? Ready for the big time, baby? Mr. Strickland. Okay, yes, you can absolutely decline to be weighed. You can decline any test or treatment that is offered to you. But if you're already worried about whether you'll be able to access help from this healthcare professional, sometimes you don't want to rock the boat. Ah, because they might tell you you're an idiot. If you're going to a doctor and then telling them how to do their job, <laughs> you should go to the fat doctor. You'll get real help. Sometimes you might be feeling so stressed out by the whole process that you'll just nod your head and agree with everything they say, even if you've practiced how to advocate for yourself in a million, a million times. Yeah, advocate for yourself. You'll just nod your head and agree with everything they say. You're going to the doctor. You're going for their expertise. And then you're going to criticize. Talk about having a fucking ego. Ugh. Maybe because you're fat, you should. You're, if you're fat, you have, you're in no position to talk about health. Truly. Truly. Uh, <sighs> Sometimes it will not feel safe to decline to be weighed. Oh, you're not going to feel safe? I don't want to be weighed. Uh, I'm not safe now. Yeah, you know, like the doctor's going to fucking take out a cat of nine tails or something. Oh, you don't feel safe. Y'all, here's a coming. And it's opposite. It's absolutely okay to put your safety first. Oh my God, these people are such pussies. Oh, you're such a pussy. Oh, you're such a pussy. Put your safety first because of all the abuse that physically happens at a doctor's office. <sighs> it does not make you a bad person or mean that you are any less worthy of fat positive care. Yo, if you want to get, I'll tell you where you get fat positive care at the cemetery. Okay. They'll dress you up really nice. They'll make you look really good. They'll put you in a nice dress or a suit. They'll take care of you at the cemetery. Yeah. Just talk to a mortician. They'll take, they'll take great fat, positive care of you. If you are a thin person reading this, you can absolutely take action and start to decline your weigh-ins. <laughs> this might not seem that radical an act, but the more folks that do it, the more normal an action it becomes. Yeah. So as long as more people do it, that makes it better. Just as long as more people do it. Right. As more people take experimental drugs, as more people act insane, it just normalizes it. It normalizes stupidity. Look, if you're normalizing stupidity, it doesn't make it any less stupid. It just makes more people stupid. Just because something is more common doesn't make it right. 
Just because 75% of the population's obese and overweight doesn't make it good. And like I always say, probably 95% of the population's metabolically unhealthy, I would venture. Uh, if you are a healthcare professional, one tiny step you can take to making your practice more fat positive is to offer a weigh-in as an option. Ooh, rather than a requirement. Mm. Ask, quote, would you like to be weighed rather than saying, step on the scales now or tell them, step on the scales now. And if they decline, okay, you can go to some other doctor who doesn't give a fuck about your health. How about that? I got a soundboard for that. Go fuck yourself. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I got a prescription. And the only prescription is more dick How cheese. How about I send you a hobo's dick cheese? Someone get this chick a hobo's dick cheese. She'll probably eat it. Obviously she will. Apparently eating everything else. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that analogy. Uh, Gina says, tell me what's wrong with my car without looking at it or running any diagnostics and fix it without opening the hood. Yeah, right? <laughs> Matt Damon. That's fucking bullshit. Uh. What are you looking at, butthead? That's what you should do. That's what you should do. You walk into the doctor's office with a soundboard and they're like, how are you doing today? What are you looking at, butthead? Stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. I done public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real queer. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke, we in real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said, stay woke, real emo. Stay woke. Yeah. 